Hi there and welcome to the latest in the series of Camper King Guides, this one about bringing your camper van out of hibernation from the winter and how to get it ready, make sure it's safe for the season of camping ahead. First thing to remember is safety. If your van is due an MOT or a service, now is the best time to get that done, to sort out any niggling little problems that might occur further down the road. So if you need to, get your van booked in, have a look at the logbook, make sure you're aware of your dates, and an MOT or service is just a call away. Lots of leaves. Another thing to remember is that before you get started, there's some general maintenance to be done on the vehicle. So things like checking your oil, for example, making sure that the level is correct. You can do that obviously by checking the dipstick. Wipe and pop it back in to get a good reading. Always helps to have the vehicle on a level surface while you're doing this, of course. There we go, so that's all right. One thing you might want to check, if you have a multimeter especially, is the voltage of your vehicle battery. So uh, good voltage, somewhere around 13 volts, maybe a little bit higher. Uh, so obviously put your terminals on the battery terminals and see what it reads out. Things like your washer fluid, you have to check that to make sure that there is something in the reservoir that's a legal requirement to have. And while you're here, you can do some other general maintenance checks like uh, brake fluid and, uh, and water, etc. So that's under the bonnet, and then it's on to the tyres next. One of the other things to check is the tread depth on the tyre. Now there's a legal requirement, which is 1.6 millimetres across the breadth, or most of the breadth of the tyre. So a classic way to test this, if you haven't got a tyre tread depth gauge, is to take a 20 pence piece, and the 1.6 mils is it's about the same size as the rim around the edge of the coin. So you pop that into your tread depth, and if you can't see the rim any further, then you know that there's plenty of tread depth available on your tyre. This course has absolutely no problem. There's loads on this one. And you can do that across three quarters of the breadth of the tyre to make sure you're legally uh, okay. thing to be aware of is tyre pressure and on a camper van or on Camper King camper van in, in particular we recommend 45 psi as the uh, amount of air pressure you should be putting in. Currently needs a bit of a top up here so I'm going to turn this one on. I'm using a digital gauge here obviously you can use a, a standard foot pump if you want to uh, take you a bit longer but uh, I'll switch this on and we'll get up to 45 hopefully. Be aware if your camper van has been sat dormant for a period of time, particularly over winter, and you haven't moved it at all, then flat spots might have occurred, might have developed at the bottom of the tyre. And good general maintenance is to keep the tyre moving, or indeed to keep it topped up with air in order to counter the effects of those flat spots. So generally, uh, give it a bit of a move, make sure that you um, get the camper van rolling backwards and forwards a little bit, uh, if it's a case of take the handbrake off. Have a good look at your lights before you set off anywhere. Sometimes rainwater has a habit of finding its way into the light fitting, so if there's any kind of condensation in there, then you want to try and get rid of that in some way. Another thing obviously that you need to make sure is that the lights are in good working order, so before you set off again, especially if you're going to be travelling at night at all, uh, make sure that your lights are functioning as expected because you might have a bulb that's blown or whatever, so you might need to replace that. Make sure that your gas connections are all working, that the gas is flowing through to the kitchen area. First thing to do, of course, is turn on the gas cylinder in the rear of the van, the 907. So just by turning the valve at the top. So we'll just try igniting one of the burners so I can hear gas coming through. And the piezoelectric is igniting the gas for me. So I'm happy with that. And of course we can try the other one just to make sure that that's working as well. 
Now your water system is vitally important and of course it's really, really vulnerable to frost damage. So the thing to make sure is that it's in good working order before you set off. Now one way to get eyes on the water tank at least is to go in through this uh, cupboard in your conversion and then lift the flap um, right above the water tank down here. You won't be able to see this, but uh, you can at least get eyes on the water tank that way and make sure that there's no bacterial growth inside that you can see. Um, make sure that it's fully flushed out before uh, you hibernate your camper van, of course. So if you've done that, great. If not, you might need to run the water system through with a, a cleaner such as Purisol, for example, which is something we sell in the Camper King shop. And you'll do that by flushing it through, running the taps, running the pump, and making sure that all of that is cleaned out over the period of maybe one to two days prior to setting off anyway. Another thing to have a look at, of course, is to make sure that all your power is operating as it should be. Uh, now, the first thing I would do in these circumstances is just check that the lights are operating, that you can work the pump and you can hear the pump working in the back of the conversion and uh, just making sure that individual lights are operating in the way that you expect them to be. Uh, if necessary, if something's amiss, then what you'll need to do is go back to the back of the camper van and check your RCD unit. So in the back in your electrical cupboard, you'll see that there's a series of switches on the RCD unit and it's a good idea to just double check this, make sure they're all in the correct position. Uh, they should be showing little red tags right above them. And the other thing to make sure is that occasionally from time to time you do test this using the test button on there and that's always good practice just to make sure your electrical system's not uh, faulty in any way. If you've got a sunshade it's a good idea to wind that out completely before you head off anywhere if you've got the room at home and that's just to make sure that everything is rolling neatly that's not caught anywhere you haven't got any problems with the fabric itself and uh, also worth having a look at the awning rail and just making sure there's nothing stuck in here that needs cleaning out it might be an idea to give it a good brush uh, down the edge down the length of it just to make sure that it's completely clear and that you're not going to have any nasty surprises when you get to your campsite if you're heading off soon, then it's a great idea to make sure that your vehicle's clean and in good order. So give it a good wash on the exterior. That way you can see if there's any paintwork damage or body damage that you need to take care of before you go. And obviously if you've got a solar panel on the roof, then it's a really good idea to give that a thorough clean as well to make sure that's completely working at 100% efficiency. Check the elements inside your conversion as well, that they're all uh, completely functioning. So all your buttons and catches, making sure that the hinges are working and are smooth. All of the cupboards really. And obviously anything like the hob covers and your fridge, just making sure that all should be as it, you expect. Give your fridge a good clean out and wipe the interiors. Um, a good uh, sterilizing fluid would help with that. And um, everything, including your curtains, making sure that they all roll back in the way that you think they should. Good idea to check your handbrake, just making sure that if it has been stationary for a long time, the vehicle, then that is not seizing in any way. Try it a couple of times just to make sure you're completely happy with it. So if you've carried out all those checks, then the only thing that remains is to grab all your gear, chuck it in the camper van and head off on your next adventure. Hopefully it'll be a great camping season ahead. Thank you for watching.